In this video, we're going to concentrate on the, on the header. Basically, entering the title and a slogan, or sometimes called the tagline. We're going to be getting rid of this, and we won't worry about these at the moment because they'll be uh, moved later. So, to get to this template, we're going to go up to Files, New, New Project. Again, there's a lot of templates you could use from if you design Autosteer, your layout within Autosteer. But we're just going to go with a generic uh, layout. So this is what we have. And so it says it loads. Anytime. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, modify this. Let's just get uh, rid of it for the moment and I'll show you how to add it in later. So we're going to delete it. And we're going to get rid of this thing here. And again, we're going to leave those at the moment. They'll be moved down in a later time. So to get a, a title up here, we got to be in header. Notice that when you click on the header, it opens up. If I were to click down here in the vertical menu, well, I guess it ain't going to do it on me. Anyway, we want to go back to header so we don't get all, uh, off track. We want to go to insert, control, and this is our header. And then uh, we'll just leave it in our site title. This would come from your WordPress in your settings for general uh, uh, title and tagline. Now from here we can move this any, anywhere we want. I'll just put it in the center for the moment. Also while we're here, we can go to text. We could change the color just to just make it red for the fun of it. You also have the option to go to shading. Let's go down to here. And let's say we want to make it a, a, a the size, we'll just leave it at 36 and change the thing, thing you want. And if we want to change the style, we could uh, bold it a little bit more. We'll make it italics. But let's just bold it. Okay, next we want our tagline. So we'll go back up here to insert, control, slogan. Here's our slogan. Put it where we want it. And uh, again, we could take change the text here if we want, but it's not necessary. It will automatically get changed when we go into WordPress. So I'll just leave it like it is. If I wanted to, I could just click on it and just enter some stuff. But we'll just leave it like it is. I don't know why my computer is so slow. Anything, anyway, another thing you could do, you could enter an image. You go over here, click on image, insert image. And let's just, well, we'll just pick these people for the fun of it. And notice they're over here. Now you can click on it and drag them where you want them. And you can also resize. If you can get in there to resize it. And anyway, once you're here, you can go over here to position. And you can position it where you want. Where they are in the center. Which actually gives you a nice little hint where to move this over. And that's the center. That would be the center. But anyway, let's go back to our, our image. And we'll just keep them back on the left. And there they are on the left. 
Okay, and that's about it for images. Again, there's a lot of things you can do with these controls. Um, you just got to play around with it, but I have the basic... Uh, well, let's just change the color real quick. So to do that, we go over here to uh, header background. And here's where you, you can uh, upload your own file if you had a, a special header you wanted to use. But for us, we're going to go over here, uh, click on the background. You can bring them up here, or you can just use them up here. And I'll just use it up here. And we'll just change the, uh, that's the whole color. But let's say I don't want a color. I just want to ha have a pretty image. So to do that, we go to to get a pretty image there on this image box. Again, you can upload your own or you can click here and pick a style that's pretty for you. Let's say we wanted this guy here. You can see it changed in the background. There's lots to choose from. Let's say we wanted a uh, that one right there. You just click on it and there you go. Again, when the slogan isn't dark enough, so let's change colors. And just use a this color right there. See what happens. I uh, didn't like it too much, did it? Colors. More colors. Uh, put it right there. And make sure you hit OK. There you go. And let's bold it so it stands out a little bit more. Style. We'll go bold italics. There we go. And so that's uh, a lot of stuff you can do with the header. So let's save it and we'll take it over to uh, WordPress so we can see what it looks like. Um, let's save the project. So it's a uh, file, save as, and we'll call it. Uh, my new template one. That sounds okay. That's in documents. Uh, let's put it in, in uh, on my desktop because it's just a test anyway. So you save it. And so we'll be able to retrieve it later. To continue working and then I'm going to export it to WordPress and let's just give it the same title my I forget what I even call it I'll just call it test art is steer we'll call it two because I already have a one I normally give it the same name as what I saved it as but I can't remember it we export it, and in a moment it'll tell us it's complete. And there it is. Let's go ahead and close out of this, and uh, we'll see what it looks like in uh, in our uh, WordPress. There we go. Close. Okay. Okay, here we are in my test site, which at the moment is titled Printable Flashcards. And what we're going to do is upload the theme that we just did in AutoSteer, dealing with changing the header around. So let's go ahead and upload it. 
I don't like going to the themes here. So I go over to uh, Dashboard, Appearance, Themes, Add New. We're going to get the uh, theme off my dashboard. We're going to browse for it. And if you remember, we call it Test 4. Open. Install. And activate. Now if we view it, now you can see our new header. This is what we did um, a few minutes ago in order to steer when we were playing around with the, uh, the header control information. And so that's how we play with the, uh, with the header. Again, you could use their, their header and stuff, or you could upload your own. In this video, we're going to play with the header a little bit more. But this time, we're going to take a an image that we created. In my case, I created it in GIMP. And we're going to replace the image for uh, we did earlier. So to do that, we go up to Background Images again from File. Browse and you gotta find it. It's in my pictures and the graphics for uh, uh, getting uh, getting traffic. And we'll install or upload traffic five. And we'll go ahead and put it. Now notice that it's here, but we get these people are still there. The title and this is still there. We don't want that. So we're just going to go there, and we're going to delete object. We're going to delete our uh, slogan. And we're going to delete our people. And there we go. And now if we save this and uh, upload it into our website, this is what it will look like. I'm going to save this as file, save as, uh, art is, uh, art is steer, header, three, I saved as an RATX so you can retrieve it later. It takes a second to, to save. And now we're going to export it. And we're going to give it a, a different name. We're going to call it Artist Steer. If I can spell correctly. Our steer header three website. <sighs> Fingers just don't like me. Oh, come on, give me a break. There we go. And now we're going to export it. Invalid name. Oh, well. You don't like the, oh, there it is right there. You don't like spaces in there. Okay, now let's try it. Okay. You don't like hyphens either. So we'll just call it uh, test header. Five. We ain't proud. Let me write that down. Okay, now let's go over to Artist Steer. Not Artist Steer, but our website, and we'll import uh, this one here so you can see what it looks like. Okay, we're back in our website. 
printable flashcards and we're going to import or upload the, the new theme we created where we took an image that we created in uh, GIMP and put it in here in our, into our header. So again we go to our dashboard Appearance, Themes, Add New, Add Browser, I think we call it Test. Test 5 was it? We'll find out. Activate it. And visit site and there it is there's our our new header which we have it's an it was an image we created in my case in GIMP it could have been done in Photoshop it could have been done in, in um, any paint program but we imported the image into our header and so that's how you uh, work with images inside your header